What's the crack, lads? I'm Paul Hair Man, your face, and welcome back to another episode of Free Games with Paul. So, today I'm playing a game called Path of Exile, which is a game I've been playing for quite a long time. Like, I think of something like 170 hours or something in the game. And, yeah, so I've got like two higher level characters. This one is shit. This is like my first character, and this is like. Well, it's not my first character. Like, I had another character before that, back like ages ago. And I never liked the game back then. And then I started playing that character. And I didn't like the game that much again. But I think your enjoyment of the game is based off the builds that you're playing. And this is a kind of like a Diablo type thing. Like um, like the, there is builds up online for it. And I started playing these two then. And they're both based off a of build. And it, that that's when the game just it just sucked me in. I, I haven't been able to stop since. <laughs> but um, this one's kind of... It's a speedy decay build it's called. And it's not like a survivable build, but it's, um, it's a build made for like running around with like blade vortex around you. And uh, yeah, I'll just I'll show off what the build is. So my two characters are both kind of in game now. So um, well, not fully in game. I think this one I've done up to uh, tier ten on, which the map is kind of the end game. Like once you finish the story. You finish the story three times in normal, hard, and merciless, and then when you do that, then you move on to the maps. The only thing is the maps are also merciless difficulty, so if you die, you lose like ten percent of your experience bar, which can be quite frustrating. Which is why I swapped over to the other berserker fella. He's like an earthquake build, but he's also really survivable, so like I don't really die with him. Whereas this build, if you don't keep on your toes with moving around, then it's very easy to die. But it's based off one of the essences, which is an essence of like delirium, and that gives you like chaos damage on your weapons. Like if I actually go into my inventory, the game's always jerky when I log in for the first time. But if I go in here, your hits inflict decay, dealing one thousand chaos damage per second for ten seconds, and then the other one is the same, so that doubles it to two thousand. And then when you're in your actual like skill tree, if I zoom out, if you walk work around to like, well, that's all increased area of effect. But over here, it's all like damage over time and increase chaos damage and stuff like that so um that all multiplies the damage of your speedy decay and it kind of just you fucking fly around and murder everything but i go to my hideout for one it'll be a bit more um less jerky here apart from when i go into the actual maps then if a lot of enemies die together like just normally the game does not know what to do it, it like everything dies but then it just like stalls for a second and it's like wait what, what, what are you doing? Why? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Add vendors you can trade an iron ring and a skill gem for resistance ring. Yes. Yes you can. Okay. So I've got my immaculate hideout. Is what, you, uh, bleh, what it's actually called. And um, yeah. All my masters are up here. And my map device. But um, what do I have? I'll just go T5 for now. Activate. Uh, do I have everything on? No, I do not. Put that on. And put. Where's discipline? Must be on. Now I've got 3,800 shields. And my character is ready. And I've got a lot of potions. I have to keep an eye on my potions. I've got some legendary potions. They are unique potions, I should say. Legendary. I'm used to legendary or from him. Um, what do you call it? Uh, Diablo as well. Diablo and this game are one of my most played games in the last couple of years anyways. I I just kind of like the whole top down style and, uh, and this game in particular as well. The graphics are amazing. Cause like Diablo's graphics are kind of outdated at this stage. But um, this one is pretty good. So I've got a Rumi's Concoction which is Granite Flask armor. That Then I've got my Running Around Flask and my Damage Over Time Flask. And then that's just more defense. So yeah, game is still jerky. It hasn't fully gotten over the fact that it's on yet. Um, it's just actually, I think it's F1, yeah. Ah, uh, decent FPS. Okay, let's just start moving and hopefully it deals with things itself. Uh oh. I wasn't ready. Can't see a thing that's happening right now. Wow, I couldn't see anything. I 
God damn it. I hate how the game does that when you start up for the first time. It's just really annoying. But then that's to do with like something to do with like async or something like that. I forget the full word for it, but um but if you turn that off then these load times are like way longer because it loads the area fully before you go into it, where at the moment it kinda loads the area around you. So ye it's both ways are have their downsides. Normally it's fine, like normally it irons out after the first couple of minutes of playing the game. But hopefully, hopefully it will do that. Why are you so like non responsive? Right? Oh, fucking log me out. You dick. I, I, I'll just I'll go on to the character that I actually want to play. Because this, like, I've only got up to like tier 3 or 4 with him. So he's kind of an earlier on end game character. But, um, yeah, he's fun to play. And like I've got survivability because I've got like an enduring cry thing that I used to be able to use every four seconds or something like that, which is down here. But because my um in my thing I get like this, which makes the duration last longer, and it's cooldown recovery speed a lot faster, and I recover like a quarter of my health and everything, which is up at like three thousand two hundred, so I don't get damaged too much, or when I do, it's just it's back up fairly fast. Travel to hideout. Okay, this is less jerky now. Need my bringer of ash on or herald of ashes today, and that hatred, extra damage. Oh no, the Mesa map is still open. Eh, oh, I don't think this character is gonna be able to do it. Let's just put in a new map. Uh, tier two. Let's go for tier two. I need him up a few more levels before I start trying to tackle um, bigger things. I want him up a few more levels so I can go and do a thing called a labyrinth, which gives you like an extra. I only have the merciless one left to do and the uber one, but the merciless one will give me another two points into my ascendancy tree. But um, they're kind of hard to do, quite hard to do, anyways. But I have the damage coming up now, which is up to like almost 12k when I actually. It normally sits at 12k, like 12 and a half, and then when I put out my totem, that brings it up to like 13 normally. So something has happened to my damage, and I don't know what. For now, for now it's fine. Do, 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 do. And this character doesn't move around so fast, so it's a bit more um, manageable. Fuck you! Deal with my earthquake! Dun, dun. Oh! It's not a six link, but it'll sell for like seven jewelers to a vendor. Which isn't too bad. Then Nice. I also do trading and stuff in the game, like there's this app called Procurement and you kinda of set up your own shop and everything with it and sell stuff that you've come across in the game. So I when I started doing that I also had to buy a stash tab, like a currency one, because my currency started going up and it was taking up shit tons of my space. I couldn't have that anymore. Here, you die, come here. Oh, you're both alive, there we go. Yeah, now it's sitting up at like eleven point five. I don't know what it is. Or I don't know oh, it's the golem. Golem gives me increased attack and cast media. Yeah. That's why. It hadn't spawned out yet. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Oh. Yeah, so once shit tone starts coming on screen and dying, the game doesn't know what to do sometimes. Factory map. Nice. For now. It's, it's not nice when you're later game. Unless you have it shaped with a shape resort. And it raises a tier by like five tiers, I think. I think it's five tiers. Go. Attack you. Should probably show off what the fuck I'm actually doing as well. Like, I'm in a. I'm not quite sure actually. I think I'm in a. I'm not even gonna guess. I don't know what type of map I'm in. I forget what one I opened. Oh, ghetto. I'm in a ghetto map. And I'll show now in a second what the end game is. 
So the end game is kind of this. This is like your map, and this is kind of the center of the map. So like right in the center is the Shaper, and these are its four guardians. And you start on like this corner, this corner, this corner, or this corner, and you work your way in through the maps. So like I'm up here on a ghetto one. I can just type it in. Don't know where the ghetto one is. Ghetto. There it is there. So ghetto is down here. So like I'm working my way along here. So if I was to get a tier up map, I'd get a sewer and then I'd get a graveyard, tower, blah, blah, blah. And I'd work my way in then to these guardians. But I haven't quite done that yet. I'm only up to like 30 maps completed, which is when you do the bonus objective in the map, like kill the boss of a rare version of this map and so on and so forth. I think I've got them done on to like tier eight maps or so. Yeah, tier eight, tier nine maps. But I did the tier nine maps on that other character. So, yee. But it is really fun to play. Like this whole getting through the normal all the way through the merciless and everything is kind of tedious. But other than that, it's quite fun to play. Powering through the maps and stuff, it feels like um, it's kind of like the ne Nephilim Rift system on um, Diablo. Kind of, but not really. It's a Nephilim Rift system, you just you get your Greater Rift stones and then you choose whatever Greater Rift thing you want. In this, you actually get specific maps that you can um, you can upgrade those maps with quality and you can make them rare and they have shit tons of extra things in them. And it's kind of fuckery at times. Die, die, die. What the fuck are you? Oh, you're the boss man. Okay, throw you down there, so. Dun, 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 dun. Come on. You can die. Nice. And there's the boss of this map dead, so now we can leave. You can leave if you want. You can also continue killing if you want. It's really up to you. Fuck you. I shall leave, though. Got a couple of nice things though. Things that I can sell. Actually, I think that's a orb of chance item. Fuck, I don't have any orbs of chance left. Okay, I'll just set it so. But yeah, if you sell like a six slot item without at six links, you get like seven jeweler's orbs. And then you sell an item with three different color links, and you get like a chromatic. And oh yeah, if you sell a six link, then you also get a divine orb, which is like 11 chaos. Or if you get a good one, you can sell them for a lot more by themselves. On the market. Sell. Seven jewelers and seven jewelers. Nice. Um, that's about it. Go down to my stash. Put all my currency in. Hey. Currency tab. Nice. Very nice. I've got 800 fucking scrolls of wisdom in here. 70 almost portals. At least I'm keeping up with the portals. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Okay, what other tier 1 maps do I have? Because I can make them orbs of alchemy rare. Jungle map. Okay. Crystal ore. Hmm. Item quantity is 50%, 54% to that one. 64% nice. I want item quantity because item quantity affects um, like currency drops which is all those types of orbs and stuff whereas item quality just affects items and stuff mainly so crystal ore map. Yeah this is a game I've played for a long time and I'm really like just addicted to it and play it all the time trying to get up more and more and level up my characters like this this character that I'm on at the moment I only started like two or three days ago up until then I was playing the other one that's like level 80 now because level 80 is on her it wasn't difficult to get to but it's normally kind of difficult because it's um it takes quite a while to level up and between like level 60 and 100 the curve for leveling up goes up by a lot by a shit ton like I think like level 59 to 60 is something like 15 million experience or something which isn't that much but then you get up to like level 99 and it takes like 312 experience to level up then so it's kind of a big um, step up within a few levels gets hard to level die 
die and die. Nice. Let's go this way. Fuck you. Fuck you. Dun dun dun. Uh, half the time I do be running around these maps for a long time before I find the end. Because they can get quite big, especially the higher tiers you go, the bigger the map tends to be. So like the tier 4, or the tier like 11 and 12 maps are just huge. What the fuck is happening in here? Oh, it's a Sin Master, okay. Die. 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 Probably could push higher tiers, but I don't want to risk it until I level up a bit more, because then I would just be losing experience, and there's no point, because then it's just a waste. Like, at the moment, I'm gaining enough experience, like 61 million an hour, which is fairly decent. I know on my other character, though, I've been earning up to, like, 140 million experience an hour, because literally, the Blade Vortex she has only has to hit the enemies once as she runs through them, and then they're dying. And most of the time do just die. So I really just have to run through them once with her. So I can just fly around at full map and clear it. Because she has massive movement speed and everything. Oh, sextant. Nice. Die. Rockbreaker. Oh, I don't want to pick up the rockbreaker. I don't think... I don't really find that worth it. Like if you take a rockbreaker or a stone hammer and stuff like that. Put the quality up to 20% with like blacksmith's whetstones, you can get like a cartographer's chisel. Fucking yes, one of those. Oh my fucking Jesus. Die, 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 die. So one thing I love about Earthquake is the AoE of it. It just spreads out massively. Dun, dun, dun. Fuck you. Fuck you. Get wrecked. Okay, that did good. That got me like 5% experience. That was awesome. Fuck you! Not allowed. Oh god, he spawns a lot more people. There we go. Fuck you! Uh oh. <clears throat> Stand back. Cast Ice Nova. Oh, that's not too bad. Come on. One of them's fucking running away. Come here. Superior conversion trap, what was that? I don't know what the fuck that sound was. Uh oh. Shit. Shit. What the fuck is happening? Come on. Arcanus Glows Praetor Crown. Oh, that's cool looking. Oh. Quartz Flask. Cool. I don't think I've ever self found a unique flask before. And we'll see what it is. I don't know why I picked up the Dayside Mask or the Quilted Jacket though. Oh no, the Quilted Jacket was... No, oh, Prophecy Wand, that was it. They're both Orb of Chance items, if they have the orange border around them. If you use an Orb of Chance on them, they have a chance of it being like a really nice item. But I want to see what this is. Forbidden Taste. 50% increased charge used. Cover 75% of your maximum life on use. A percent of maximum life taken as chaos damage per second. Hmm. It's kind of nice though. 10% chance to dodge attacks and 10% chance to dodge spell damage. Phasing. I think phasing means I run. Um, you can run through enemies as well. That's also quite nice. I would hold on to it because it's probably worth something. So what I do love about this is just going in and just like smashing things and then watching them all drop. And it's going to get a lot better as well because like at the moment I only have like a shitty, like a kind of bad quality six link, which is my thing. But I have to get something called a Marahoy Erky or something like that and it's like a unique... 200 mace and it does a shit ton more damage and the actual build that uses that goes up to like 71k dps without using flasks and then with them it's like 100 and something k 150k something like that which is quite nice 
apparently even end game like tier 15 bosses just drop like like they're nothing so that's kind of nice to know die 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 we also have to do two more um, of the things to be able to do the uber lab which stop picking up the things with orange around them I don't have any orbs of chance left <laughs> okay the arena's here nice Die, die, die. Fuck you. Okay, what, what is the boss? Oh, it's Shrieker. Right. Fuck you. Come on. Nice. Jungle Valley. Ah, oh, there's a... Oh, another... Nice. You shut up. Let's get out of here. I've got a lot of stuff to sell for chromatic orbs, which is quite nice. Let's go and see. Ah, uh, I'm supposed to sell them to the people up here. Back on. Happy to share my wisdom with you, yes. Oh, that's a five link. That was probably what the noise was. Hmm. Wonder what a five link goes for. Um. What else do I have? You can go away. Right. Let's throw these into number four. It's a quart flask that I don't use. Uh, put it in there. Put that down there. Okay, and what is this? 30% increase physical damage of 200 weapons, 12% increase air damage, and oh, that's kind of a nice gem. Sell that. Mm, um, that goes in there. These can all go in here. Is there, oh, there is a, nice. Bede bede. Don't know why that's in there. Should be up here. Essence of hatred. Extra cold damage. Ah, not too bad. Um let's see actually if I put this onto this, what I can get. Thirty five to ninety one physical. Thirty one to six nine elemental, one to six. Zero point two two percent of physical damage leads to mana. Uh it's not really a great one. Hmm. What else do I have? Uh. Do 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 do. Lightning damage to spells. No, don't need that. Hmm. No spells. Spells. I need to look at all the screamiest that I have. They're all just mainly those type ones. Oh. Hmm. That's nice. Oh, I have to scour it. Okay, I want that one now. Scour. Scouring orb. Oh. That is a nice bow. That's a really nice bow. Adds 22 to 37 physical, adds 44 to 83 fire, adds 1 to 133 lightning, 33% increased critical strike chance, 41% increased projectile speed, and 230 accuracy rating. That will probably sell, so I will be keeping that. Um, I'm really going to have to shimmy around my shit. If I can... Hmm... I suppose I can just leave it in a different tab. Right. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave this episode of Path of Exile here. It's, well, free games with Paul. But it is a really cool game and I, I'm really addicted to it at the moment that I'm playing it all the time. So it's kind of... It says something about the game that can hold your interest. Like a lot of games haven't been able to do that. 
lately, but it, it has been for me, so I think it's a good game anyways, but if you want to check it out, it's on Steam, and it's it's a, a, a normal sized game, like a, about 8-10 gigs or something like that, I think, but it, it's worth it, so yeah, thank you all for watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one!